Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of 60 Formula. Hope you're doing well today. Look, it's everybody's dream come true. We got both the Huscaroni pizzas going on a walk outside. boop a doop 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 a doo Look at both of these Huskies, booty woo. Happy Thursday. Hope you guys are doing amazing today. We're just on a walk with Gila and Britney Spears right now, looking at two big, floofy Siberian Husky booties. It's almost the weekend, almost time to party it down. Oh, here's the Twitter hub. I know, we gotta check it out. We gotta, we gotta see who's dropping DMs. Who's got the hot tweet today? Who's got it? Is it Doggo McDoggerson? How's he doing? <laughs> what is this? What plant is this? He was like, I don't know, but I gotta, I gotta sniff it. I gotta sniff the plant. What is it, girl? What is it? Did someone pee on that? Did someone leave you a message on the plant? The weather is finally cooling down just a little bit. I mean, it's not getting cold, but it's just not like over 100 degrees today, which is awesome for the pups. That means we can go outside and do a little bit of walking. Now, I gotta be honest with you, everyone's always like, how come you don't walk both of your dogs at the same time? And one of the biggest reasons is because I have to film. I don't have anybody who films all of these episodes for me, so it's really hard to hold both of these Huskies on one leash and film everything at the same time. But guess what? Today we're gonna manage, we're gonna get it done for you. So we're just walking along. <laughs> She's like, I'll get you. Don't you get in my face, you fly. Today we're gonna be talking about where Siberian Huskies come from, their history and origin. So if you've ever wondered where Siberian Huskies floofy booties come from, we're gonna be covering it on today's episode. What do you guys see in there? What's in there? A secret garden? <laughs> Huskies are just so ready for adventure. Walking two of them can be a struggle, especially if they aren't trained. Thanks for leaving that tweet, bro. How far you guys wanna go today? You wanna do like a 30 mile walk? Yeah, it sound good? Ooh, wait, hold on. There's a bunny right over there. In the center of the screen, there's a bunny. Hold on, let me see if I can, let me see if I can look right here. I'm gonna zoom in for you guys. Can I zoom in? I don't know how to zoom on this camera. Good girl sitting down. That's a good princess. Okay, well, we're gonna get closer to the bunny and the dogs will freak out eventually. You guys can see it. It's right there in the center of the screen. That's a Siberian bunny. Oh, Husky meets a bunny. You guys don't see it yet? How do you not see that bunny? Oh, he saw it that time. <laughs> oh, funny bunnies. Man, I really wish I had my longboard right now. And I know what you guys are thinking. You're like, 60, don't you dare get on a skateboard again. You're gonna break your other 60 hand. Rezoning. From pud to pud. I don't know what that means. Ya -da 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 -da. Look at all these cars just driving by. So let's get right into today's episode. Where do Siberian Huskaroni pizzas come from? Now it's true, Siberian Huskies do come from Siberia. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? But where exactly is Siberia? In case you don't know, Siberia is located in Russia. And it goes without saying that Siberia is extremely, extremely cold. Like, I don't know, 60 below freezing? So it goes without saying that Siberian Huskies can withstand some of the coldest temperatures because they're from one of the coldest countries in the entire world. So Siberian Huskies are actually one of the oldest dog breeds dating back to over 4,000 years ago. In case you didn't hear me say that because the car went by, that's 4,000 years of domestication, my friend. And it all started in Siberia with the Chukchi people. The Chukchi were a group of Eskimos that lived in Siberia <laughs> Whoa, scared your booty, didn't it? And over a course of many, many years, hundreds of years in fact, the Chukchi tribe domesticated the Siberian Husky. They used them for all sorts of things, but mostly pulling sleds and getting things to and from different places. This is why Siberian Huskies have so much energy and why they also have so much agility. They're meant to run and pull lots of weight throughout the harshest and coldest of climates. So it's no wonder why these guys are so strong, why they have so much energy all the time. They need to be set to go far distances and carry heavy loads. Now, Alaskan Malamutes are built to do exactly the same thing, but we're not talking about them today. We're talking about that Husky booty. So for many, many hundreds of years, the Chukchi people domesticated Siberian Huskies, had them watch over their children. In fact, they loved them so much that they believed that when they went to heaven, 
they were actually judged by two gigantic huskies. And if you ever were mean to a husky or you mistreated a husky, you wouldn't be accepted into heaven. This was something that the Chukchi believed in. So it goes without saying, they were a really, really important dog to the Chukchi people. Unfortunately, in the 1700s and the rise of Russia, the Chukchi were pushed north and were eventually wiped out by the Russians. They tried to move as north into the cold as they could, but eventually the Russians took them over, demanding their land and killing off all the rest of them. Now, luckily, a lot of the breed, the Siberian Husky, made it to North America during this time. When the Siberian Huskies made it to America, they blew up in popularity. They were commonly used in racing, seeing how fast sledders could go, by using teams of Siberian Huskies to travel. But in the early 1900s, Siberian Huskies would leave their mark on the United States, becoming one of the biggest heroes in the country. In Nome, Alaska, in the early 1900s, a horrible case of diphtheria, diphtheria, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right, maybe not though. Now, several teams of dog racers and people had to get medicine to Nome, Alaska in a very, very quick time. I believe it was about five days time. They had to travel over a thousand miles, what would regularly be a 25 day trip turned into a five day trip. Two of the leading dogs, Togo and Balto, you're probably familiar with Balto, they got lots of cartoons about him, led the Americans with the medicine to Nome, Alaska, and they saved the lives of several people. Now to this very day, there are statues, monuments dedicated to Balto and Togo for going all of that way, facing the fierce weather and all of the odds against them. To this day, Siberian Huskies are loved all around the world. They're a great dog for families because they're good with children, they encourage exercise, and they're very, very loving dogs. So families and people tend to just gravitate towards them. Good lord, you guys wear me out. We're all pooped. It's like only 80 degrees outside. I know that's kind of hot, but at this point, I'm literally sweating bullets because you guys just want to take off. If I had my skateboard, this would be a way easier situation. But we ain't busting no booty today. So that's basically the history of the Siberian Husky. They've gone from being one of the most amazingly important dog in the Chukchi tribe to moving all the way to North America and saving the lives of American citizens. Today you can find them in Florida, India, all sorts of countries, so they're one of the most adaptable dogs to get. When I was considering a dog, Huskies just had one of the coolest stories that I ever heard, and I knew that I wanted that to be a part of my life. You guys are good, you got floofy booties. <laughs> Look at Britney Spears, he's like, yeah, it's a good day for a walk. Thank you kindly. Good girl, you ready? Let's go. Let's cross the street! Oh my god, we're crossing the street! Just remember, if you got a husky and you're taking it for a walk right when you get it, chances are your husky's gonna be walking you, especially if you got two of them. Siberian huskies love to take advantage of situations. And right now they know that I'm filming on a camera and they're like, dude, he ain't paying attention. We can do whatever we want. Huskies are one of the smartest dog breeds in the entire world. And the history of what I just explained to you proves that. When the huskies were traveling to Nome, Alaska, the people couldn't even see the huskies in front of the sled. They had to trust Balto and Togo to take them to where they were gonna go. And because Togo and Balto were so smart, because they knew exactly where to go, the people could trust them and they saved the lives of so many people. What up, Rue? Are we home? Yeah, are we home now? We wanna thank everybody for hanging out with us today, learning about the origin and history of the Siberian Huskaroni pizza, going on a walk with me and Gila and Britney Spears, and finally, hanging out with a Ruby Tuesday. If you guys had fun, don't forget to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss another Husky episode. Yeah, and we'll see you next time with another episode of Guess What? Yup, whatever we make. Are you ready, bud? Are you ready? Oh, are, are you guys here now because I'm giving Rue the love and he's getting the outro and you're not? <laughs> I see how it is. You're like, Dad, the outro's supposed to have us in it. All right, fine. Let's do the nose boop.